Welcome to the kingdom of the Reading Dragon Quest. I hope you will join me, your scribe, as we visit the kingdom and meet some of the very interesting characters who live there. Our first stop is the forest home of the Pixies. As you probably know, they live in tune with nature. And when something goes wrong, you will hear about it first from the Pixies. Good morning, Muscaria. Good morning, Rosie. How are you both doing this morning? Good morning, Crystal. I'm not having the best this morning. The weather is so strange today. Good morning, Crystal. The wind is crazy this morning and the weather is wild. I noticed that too as soon as I woke up today. One minute it's raining and the next it's snowing. My muscaria mushrooms are not happy at all. And my roses are feeling sad. I know! I wonder what's going on. Why is the weather so weird? This morning when I tried to sort my flower petals by color, they kept getting blown around by the wind. And when I want to help the bees pollinate my roses, they all told me it's too windy to work today. I noticed your rose petal house was losing petals in the storm this morning, too. It's going to take me all day to fix it. The angels are in control of the weather, and they always work hard to make sure the weather fits the season. <gasps> well, they're not doing a very good job right now. I wonder if the angels are okay. What if something happened to them? That would be awful. The angels have been taking care of our kingdom's weather for hundreds of years, and I've never seen crazy weather like this before. What if they got hurt? What if they're lost? What if something happened to their magic? Oh, that would be terrible. The whole kingdom would suffer if something happened to their magic. Maybe we should tell somebody in the castle. No way, I'm not going near those humans. They would never listen to us anyway. I'm afraid of them. They always eat your mushrooms and pick my roses and they never say thank you. Well, I'm worried about the angels. Well, I think we should go fly our flower kites. We don't have wind like this every day. You always want to play, but I'm worried about the angels. I agree with you, Rosie, but the wind is so perfect for flower flying right now. Let's go fly flowers, and then we can figure out what to do about the angels. Yes, flower flying winds. I just hope the angels are okay. It's okay, Rosie. The angels can take care of themselves. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for why all of this is happening. I hope you're right, Crystal. Crystal's always right. Okay, let's go fly some flowers. Melly Mixie, what's wrong? Did you run here all the way from the forest? Yes, as you know, I was out picking mushrooms for the king's and queen's lunch today. And you won't believe what I heard. What did you hear? You won't believe it. Yes, we will. No, you won't. Yes, we will. Enough already. Just tell us what you heard. Well, did you notice all of the rain and snow this morning? Yes, of course. Well, I overheard the pixies talking and... You overheard the pixies? Yes, I can hear the pixies. You know I'm magical, don't you? Whoa. Yes, I know you can make kitchen utensils appear, but I didn't know you could understand the language of pixies. Well, yes, I can. At least I mostly understand the pixie language. Anyways, I was picking you mushrooms and- You told us that already. Why do you keep interrupting me, Jack? Because you are taking forever to tell us what you heard the pixies say. But no, no sir. sir, we didn't know that you were awake. We I thought you were still sleeping. sleeping. I've been awake for a while, but I was waiting for something interesting to happen. So, what did you hear? Are you really ready now? Yes, yes. Tell, tell us already. already. Okay, so when I was picking mushrooms this morning, I heard the pixies talking about the strange weather we have been having. Yes. yes, and? They said something happened to the angels. Something happened to the angels? That's what I said. Is that really what you heard? Yes, I'm sure they said something terrible had happened to the angels, and that's why the weather is so crazy. No wonder it's been raining and snowing one minute, and then sunny and windy the next. Melly, 
Are you sure that's what the Pixies said? Yes, they got lost, and now they are missing, and they are probably hurt and scared. This is terrible news, but I'm not sure I totally believe you. Remember when you told everyone that a ghost was haunting the castle? I remember that. I was so scared. And it turned out to be just a suit of armor covered by a sheet? But this time it's different. I'm telling the truth. Well, I believe her and I'm going to do something about it. Pan Dulce, you know the king has asked for you again this morning. We can't keep him waiting much longer. You know how he likes his morning bread. What are you going to do, Pan Dulce? I'm going to tell the king what's happening. He needs to know that the angels are lost, hurt, and missing. This is serious business. Well, good luck. I hope the king doesn't eat you. Melly! What? She chose to be bread this morning. It's not my fault. As the cooks prepared to bring Pan Dulce to the king, the jesters were busy trying to entertain the royal family. This is not working. Nothing is making me happy today. Nothing's making you happy? Nothing! Uh... What's wrong, dear? Oh, my queen, there are three things wrong. Number one, I'm hungry and no one's bought my breakfast yet. And number two, the weather is crazy today. I can't go for my morning walk in the rose garden. And number three is, I'm still hungry. But Father, the jesters are so funny. Well, not today. Honestly, I wish I were a jester. Then I wouldn't have to worry about this terrible weather and all of our problems in our kingdom. Don't be silly, dear. We already have two jesters. We don't need a third one. I think Father will make you funny jester. Thank you, Clementam. I needed that. Now, where's my pandal? So I've been waiting for 10 minutes already. I'm sure the cooks will send it up soon. It's not quite breakfast time yet, sire. It's breakfast time when my tummy says it's breakfast time. Perhaps it's time for another joke. It's definitely joke time. Why do dragons sleep during the day? I don't know. Why do dragons sleep during the day? So they can fight knights. <laughs> I love that joke. Not now, Justice. Your Royal Highnesses, the Pan Dulce has arrived. Finally. Yum. I just want to eat bread all day. We do have a kingdom to rule, you know. I know, but I really wish I could, I could just eat bread and make people laugh. But Father, you said you would watch me sing and dance today. I have been practicing all week. I would love to see you sing and dance. But I want my father to watch me too. Well, let me eat my pan dulce first, and maybe then I can watch you sing and dance. Oh, no, you don't. The bread talks. Talking pan dulce? Chop that knife. Maybe you should listen to the bread. That's no ordinary bread. I want talking bread too. Listen to me. I have important news for the royal family. I can't believe we are listening to Pan Dulce speak to us. Would it be easier if I change shape? Yes! A potato? Should I change into a human? Yes! Aww. Oh, she is so cute. Please don't eat her, Father. I agree with Clementine. I don't think you should eat her. Did you all see the rain and snow and wind this morning? Yes. Well, did you wonder why the weather's so crazy right now? Yes. Well, it's because something has happened to the angels. The, the angels? angels? Yes, the angels are lost and missing. Some kind of mishap has happened to them. What's a mishap? It's an accident. An unlucky accident. Like the fact that I'm not getting to eat my breakfast right now. What exactly happened to the angels? I heard it from a very reliable source that the angels are lost, missing, 
and her. And some horrible mishap has happened to them. Page for Lama. Quickly send the message to the knights and the archers. They must find the missing angels right away before our kingdom floods. Or before we get snowed in. I don't want it to rain on my performance. Right away, sires. I will summon the knights and the archers. They will find the missing angels. Now is the perfect time for the jesters to perform. Jesters, make me laugh. As, As you, you wish, wish, sire. Jester wondered, why are knights always so tired? I don't know, Jester Austin. Why are knights always so tired? Because they work the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> What letter of the alphabet has lots of water? I don't know, Jester Wonder. What letter of the alphabet has lots of water? The C! <laughs> <laughs> Where did that page go? My tummy is growling again. She'll be back soon, dear. Try not to think about it. Uh, can I think of that before? <laughs> As Pan Dulce retreated to the safety of the magical castle kitchen once again, Paige Paloma sent messages with the falcons to deliver to the archers, the knights, and their squires. Letter Archer, do you know what's going on? I haven't seen my ice falcon in days. I don't know what's happening, but I haven't seen early the air falcon since last week. I wonder if all of this wind has been making it hard for them to fly here. Well, all of this rain has been crazy, you know. I can shoot rain with my magical arrows, but today I couldn't even shoot a single raindrop. And now I'm really worried about the air falcon. I've been like a mother to her ever since I found her when she was just a baby. She's never been away thus long before. I feel the same way about the Ice Falcon. He is like a son to me, and I've always depended on him to connect me to the world outside of our kingdom. I hope he's okay. Wait, look, I think I see them. They're flying in now. What a relief. <sighs> it looks like they are carrying messages for us. Cloud Archer. Water Archer, we bring a message from the Royal Palace. I'm sorry to say that we bring bad news. <gasps> this is terrible news! We heard a rumor that the angels went missing. Yes, this says that the angels are lost and missing and are probably hurt. No wonder my weather magic isn't working. You know I can make tornadoes and hurricanes, but today I couldn't even make a cloud. I know, I can usually make spears of ice, but today I couldn't even make a snowflake. No wonder I can't hit the target today. The winds have been changing every single minute. Oh, I almost forgot. In addition to the message from the royal palace, we also found this small magical book someone left for us. It talks about the power of dragons and how they can hide really well when they do not want to be found. Do you think the dragons are behind this? I did not think they were bad dragons, just a bit scary. I don't know, but it is interesting that we found this book just when the angels went missing. Maybe it's a clue. The king ordered us to also take this message to the knights and squires. I don't want to be here when the knights and the squires come. Why not? They always talk about how great they are and they always speak in rhymes it's so annoying you know they always think they are better than the archers i bet we can find the angels and fix the weather ourselves 
Let's leave before they get here. I can hear the knights arriving now. Be careful around the knights and the squires. Don't let them send you all over the kingdom delivering messages. We don't want you to go miss disappearing too. We'll be careful, don't worry. Good day, archers and falcons. Shadow Knight here. Good day, archers and falcons. Moonlight Knight here. Have no fear. We have no fear. Good day, archers and falcons. Sir Black Knight here, full of cheer. You bring good cheer? Are you sure you're not full of beer? Squire Mina here. The king, the king asks us all to meet with you. Squire Starlight, here do you have? Message for the squire tonight. Squire Starlight here. The kingdom always seems to need our help. The squires don't rhyme. Why do only the knights rhyme? Oh, that's easy. They don't have the time. We keep the squires working night and day. And that's the way we like it to stay. Please hand us the messages. We'll read them to the knights. From the royal palace, an angel alert. The thunder angel, the rain angel, and the wind angel are missing. The wind is out of control, and they must be found right away. It sounds like there has been some kind of mishap. Did you say mishap? I think he said kidnap. I bet the angel were caught in a trap. Did he say kidnap? I thought they were just missing. Missing or kissing? Who are the angels kissing? Sir Sharna is is just wishing the angels were kissing. Maybe they've just gone fishing. I'm just not sure what we should do. We have to find the angels, but who should we pursue? This magic book we found today talks about the dragons and how good they are at hiding. You know how sneaky those dragons can be. They never hang out with the rest of the kingdom. It may be because as they fly higher and higher, they're breathing smoke and they're breathing fire. Um, last year, when they passed over the church's fire, they, they terrified the entire choir. We need to go find the dragons. That sounds like a job for the knights and squires. The archers knew you were going to say that. I believe we need to go west. Yes, west is best. We need to find the dragon's nest. I have a map of the entire kingdom. We find the dragons before the archers do. Well, it's true. We are the ones who can get the job done. That is why we've always won. Plus, we know how to really have fun. We will always fight with all our might. But you know we fight best at night. We sleep during the day so we can fight by moonlight. My armor reflects the moonlight and I won't make the dragons blind. We'll leave the archers and falcons behind. Excuse me? Leave us behind? Sorry about that. I didn't mean it. I know we will rescue the angels, but I hope we don't have to kill the dragons, they have been helpful to the kingdom in the past. We know what's wrong, we know what's right. We'll find those dragons within our sight. We must rescue the angels without delay. And capture those dragons right away. Sirs, the squires will lead the way. Oh no, are you starting right now too? What else can we do? I guess that's true. Every minute we wait, but the angels in more harm. We might need to sound the king kingdom's alarm. We must rescue the angels without delay. Right we now, we'll, we'll be, be on our, our way. way. And stop rhyming, okay? Whatever you say, right away. As the quest to find the missing angels continues in the kingdom, the dragons are upset to learn that everyone in the kingdom thinks they have kidnapped the angels. 
I can't believe this is happening. Everyone is saying we kidnapped the angels. We would never kidnap anyone, especially not the angels. They are our friends. This is really terrible. We like to help people, not kidnap them. They don't even know how much we help the kingdom. We usually just go about our work quietly. You know that most of the villagers and royals are still afraid of us? Just because we fly fast and have lava powers. Just because we beat fire and can make lightning storms? Um, yeah, that does sound a bit frightening. But we're not dangerous. We are really just reading dragons who happen to have a lot of powers. I think the real family is more to blame than we are. They never pay attention to the kingdom. Maybe the angels are just lost and are wasting all of this time chasing after us. I know. King Paxton just wants to eat bread all day and be a jester. Well, I hate to say it, but we do have a serious problem here. I hear that the archers are looking for us now. And then I hear that the knights and the squares are determined to capture us too. I think we might have to leave the kingdom. But we live here all of our lives for hundreds of years. They don't even remember that the kingdom is named after us. That's right. The kingdom of the Reading Dragon Quest. Yes, our great, great, great grandmother and grandfather dragon helped out the kingdom by reading every book that was ever written and sharing what they learned with everyone. And lighting the fireworks every year. Well, I think they've forgotten about all that. It's no longer safe for us here. They are accusing us of a horrible crime with no evidence. I agree. Let's pack or books and get out of here before they find us. Maybe we can look for the angels on our way out of here. Wait, where are we going? I have no idea. Maybe we could fly up high and flip a coin and see where it lands on the map. I don't have a coin. Neither do I. Well, let's just fly up into the clouds and see what looks good for us. Flame dragon, lightning dragon, wait a minute. Look over at the cloud over there. Do you see what I see? I can't believe my eyes. It's the missing angels. <gasps> Good afternoon, dragons. Welcome to our lovely vacation spot. It's very nice and peaceful up here. Pull up a chair. Pull up a chair? Do you know what is happening in our kingdom right now? Everyone thinks you've been kidnapped. By us. Kidnapped by you? <laughs> <laughs> We're just on vacation. Do you know that we have worked over 100 years without a break? We needed a rest, and so we took one. We've only been gone a few days. We were hoping nobody would notice. Hoping, hoping no, no one, one would notice? notice? That's not very likely, considering you're in control of the weather. Ever since you left, the weather has been a nightmare. And no one could take care of the kingdom when the weather's completely out of control. We knew we were important, but not that important. We figured the pixies and other nature spirits will help while we were gone, and no one would notice. Well, they noticed. And I have kept the light on, even while we're on vacation. That's why everyone still has electricity. Well, the archers, squires, and the knights are all looking for us. Which is why we were leaving the kingdom. We don't want to spend the rest of our lives in the dungeon. Leaving the kingdom? Please don't leave. We need you in your fire, especially in the winter. And you have the best book collection. Well, now that you're not really kidnapped, or hurt, or lost. Maybe you can help explain to everyone that you just took a vacation and that we had nothing to do with your disappearance. And tell them that you need more help with the weather. Yes, ask for help. Controlling the weather is a big job. It most certainly is. Wonder how that rumor got started. Rumors are dangerous things. Rumors, rumors can, can be, be much more, more dangerous, dangerous than, than dragons. dragons. I don't think we'll go back just yet. Yes, they need to appreciate us a bit more. 
and appreciate you. And hopefully stop spreading rumors. Why don't you join us, join us for a while? That's very nice up here. Cotton Candy Club and Sparkling Lemonade. And the best views of the stars at night. Maybe we will. Yes, let's take a vacation. Do you have any extra sunglasses? And thus ends our tale of the case for the missing angels. We hope you've enjoyed visiting the kingdom of the Reading Dragon Quest, and we hope you'll come back soon. I'm grateful for Miss Reyna to make this movie all possible. I'm grateful for all the teachers at this camp. I am grateful for Reading Quest because they teach me to learn every day, and I'm thankful. I'm grateful for my parents working hard and letting me be in Reading Quest. I am grateful for playing outside with my friends. I am grateful for that I can wake up every day. I am grateful that I have learned English. I am grateful for my family because they always encouraged me to try my best. I am grateful for all the reading class teachers for helping me to learn how to read. I am grateful for my friends who play with me and listen to each other's ideas. I'm grateful for my family because I love them. I'm grateful for my family because they are alive. I'm grateful for my friends and my family and my dogs because I'm never lonely. I'm grateful for being here at Reading Quest. I'm grateful for the teachers for helping me with my homework. I'm grateful for Reading Quest because it helps me read better. I am grateful for my family because they love me and make me laugh. I'm grateful for having a house and food so that I can stay safe. I am grateful that I can help people.